YouTube, you guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today we are going to be going over the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck profile. This deck is awesome, and unfortunately, I wouldn't say it's a competitive build just because we're missing the Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon and a few other cards that'll make this deck even more, or well, not more better, even better than what it is. But this deck is 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 something that you guys could play before you get the new cards, and something that you guys could just play around with. I thought it was a pretty awesome deck. Let's get into the deck profile though. We're gonna be running three copy of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, there's no reason not to run anything less than three. Uh, my reasoning behind running the anniversary packs is because they are my favorite Blue Eyes White Dragon or versions of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Three copy of Sage with the Eyes of Blue. This allows us to search into any of our level one tuners from our deck to our hand, preferably mating with the Eyes of Blue, so we can start combo piecing the Blue Eyes Force side of the field, making secret summon plays. Coincidentally, uh, Sage with the Eyes of Blue also can trigger mating with the Eyes of Blue's effect, but with her second effect. Next is three copies of the White Stone of Ancients. This card's pretty pivotal, pivotal to summoning Blue Eyes um, cards or Blue Eyes monsters from our deck to our side of the field. Um, it also allows us to recycle Blue Eyes monsters from our graveyard to our side of the field. So it's a must at three, especially since the card of cons consonants target. Three copies of Dragon Spirit of White. Now this card is just awesome. It's a built-in mystical space typhoon-like effect, being able to banish spells and trap cards when it's special summoned. And also it's a blue eyes card, always treated as, and it's a normal monster in the graveyard. Since there isn't any other great alternative, like blue eyes alternative dragons that we have yet, I decided to max out this and then, ugh, I'm sorry, I decided to max out this card because it is a trade-in target. It's just, man, it's not coming as fast as it used to. Three copies of Mystic Piper. Mystic Piper allows us to draw into our key pieces that we need. We run a left level once for Mystic Piper to be able to abuse this effect, and we don't necessarily care about losing our one normal summon because Mausoleum of the Light will be able to get us our additional summon. Three copies of Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Now, Maiden with Eyes of Blue allows us to trigger our effects, um, or I'm sorry, allows us to get our Blue Eyes White Dragons to our side of the field. Its effects can be easily triggered by targeting it with Sage of the Eyes of Blue or uh, Mausoleum of Light. One White Stone of Legend. Sometimes we need Blue Eyes White Dragon in our hand. It is a trade-in target, so hey. Also, this card is a card of consonants target in itself. And then two copies of Effect Veiler. I feel like this is the better hand trap, mainly because it's searchable um, through the effect of Sage with Eyes of Blue, and we don't necessarily need cards like Gores and Drag because we're sitting on 3,000 attack monsters. We necessarily more need to negate a monster's effect, especially in the Monarch matchup. Three copies of trade-ins, that's gonna start off our spells. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Discard the uh, the White Spirit Dragon and also Blue Eyes White Dragon. Draw two cards, get closer to your engine. Three copies of Card of Consonants. Um, discard the White Stones, get closer to your combo strategy. I mean, this should be a reoccurring theme for you guys to be able to draw, draw, draw into the cards that you need. Three copies of Where Art Thou. That's the search engine. It allows us to search into any level one to light tuner or any level one monster from our deck to our hand. Three copy of Mausoleum of White. This card's awesome. This is actually, I didn't want to run three, but I have to because I want to see this card as fast as possible. But most importantly, it allows us to trigger Maiden with Eyes of Blue, and then it also gives us the second summon, so it's a pretty good card. Three copies of Terraforming. Terraforming is just basically so we can get to Mausoleum, Mausoleum of Light, of White faster. I've been calling it Mausoleum of Light this whole time. Three copies of Silver's Cry. Silver's Cry is a call it a hunt for Blue Eyes White Dragon and our Dragon Spirit of White. So it does allow us to banish cards um, when Dragon Spirit of White is special summoned and just get into some really critical pieces. And then one for one because it's obviously the best card in the deck. If you open this more often than not, you're going to establish boards that your opponent just can't get over. Um, I wanted to play the Mystic Piper uh, variant which you know allows me to run like Kika Bio, Chaos Sorcerer, Black Lizard Soldier, but I felt that it took away from the deck. I'm gonna keep on playtesting, and if you guys would like to see this, me play this, Twitch is probably your best friend. But let's get on to the extra deck. All right guys, the extra deck is very straightforward, very standard, very simplistic. We're gonna be running one Galaxy Eye Dark Matter Dragon. Um, it allows us to send our White Stones to the graveyard as well as banishing the opponent's monsters from uh, their deck. It's also a 4,000 attack monster, so that's pretty good. One copy of Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand. Card's awesome. Probably the second best rank 8 in the, in the game. 
uh, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. This card's another awesome card. It's actually how we go into Dark Matter Dragon in our later stages. Um, itself can be 5600. You guys seen the other Blue Eyes White or, uh, Dragon video I did have? You obviously can't find it now. Um, I was running Tachyon, and my belief beyond Tachyon is that it have more OTK potential. This card is 5600 on its own, so I obviously retracted that statement. Or is it 46? It's one of those. It's it's freaking strong on its own. One Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. Use that to rank up into your Prime, destroy a card, then rank up into your um your Dark Matter Dragon, and then start doing some heavy damage. One number 38 Heart Hope Heart Ringer. A lot of times when you bring this card out, you win because you can stop an opponent's monster effect. It's 3,000 attack. It has some really good effects inside of it. Uh, for Synchros, we're going to go with Leo. Leo is literally just so we can make a big monster with some of our little level 9 guys. Sometimes we need it. Uh, two copies of Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. This card is the nuts. First of all, in a pendulum format, it would only say they can pendulum two monsters to the side of the field. Unfortunately, this isn't a pendulum format. But the best effect is that he can morph into basically any light dragon monster from our extra deck to the side of the field. It comes, it's so much handy. Um, Giga Castle is literally the level 9 synchro of Leo to this deck. Sometimes you just need muscle. Uh, two copies of Azor Eyes. Now, this is probably our primary target with, uh, what is it called again? Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Azor Eyes, when it's special summoned, it can't be destroyed by card effects or targeted. So, basically, at the end phase, Spirit Dragon would try to destroy the Azor Eyes, but since it's unaffected, it's going to stay on the field. But most importantly, it allows us to cycle to Blue Eyes on our side of the field during our standby phase. This card's awesome. One Stardust Spark Dragon, we special summon it with Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon in no other way. Um, at the end phase, or during... During the turn, we can make it target itself, and then Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon can't destroy it. And then on top of that, it can start targeting other things for the opponent to prevent from being destroyed, or to prevent the opponent from destroying. One Michael, sometimes we just morph into him to be able to banish a card, and you know, some pesky card just get on the field that you gotta get rid of. Hey, Michael's there. And then Black Rose Moonlight, special summoning this card on your opponent's turn to disrupt the strategy is awesome. This deck, or this card in itself, is amazing. The last card is Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. You will probably never go into that card, except for that one occasion that you need to go into that card, and if you're not playing it in your extra deck, you're gonna lose the game. So, I mean, I'd rather, you know, I do have the extra deck room, I'd rather be safe than sorry, play the Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. It's a pretty good card in itself, and it doesn't really require me to do anything except for play two Blue Eyes Monsters. Um, that is it for the extra deck. I guess we can go into the combo tutorial. All right, guys, every major combo is centered just about around these three cards. I'm going to be showing you two awesome ones. Um, it's going to require you to have Mausoleum of the White and Sage with the Eyes of Blue. Now, it's not that hard to get into these cards with all of the draw play power you're playing. We're going to Normal Summon, or actually, we can just activate the copy of Mausoleum of the White. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to Normal Summon Sage with the Eyes of Blue. Eyes of Blue is going to go ahead and get blue, uh, Maiden with the Eyes of Blue, and then we're going to use the effect of Mausoleum, however you wanted to do it, to Normal Summon our second Maiden with the Eyes of Blue. We're going to activate Mausoleum of the White to target Maiden with the Eyes of Blue for its effect. Now, Mausoleum of the White, or we're going to chain Maiden with the Eyes of Blue's effect. Maiden with the Eyes of Blue is going to special summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon from our hand deck or graveyard, it doesn't matter. And then Mausoleum is going to send the Blue Eyes White Dragon from our deck to our graveyard. I'm going to place it right here. That's going to be able to make us a Synchro Summon play. So we're going to use that to make, no, we're not gonna make Azor Eyes. We're actually gonna make Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon and pass our turn. Now we have a Maiden with Eyes of Blue that can't really be attacked because you'll be able to special summon a Blue Eyes. And then we have a Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon that we can morph into any of our situational cards that would allow us to get over an opponent's threat. The next combo requires almost the exact same cards. So we're gonna go ahead and say that we have both of these in our hand. Uh, we don't necessarily need Mausoleum of the White. So we can go ahead, normal summon Maiden with the Eyes of Blue, and then we're going to activate Sage with the Eyes of Blue's effect to target Maiden. Maiden's going to chain our effect, so if, consequently, we're going to bring out two Blue Eyes White Dragons. That's awesome. So with that, we can go into an Exceed play that's going to make... Where's that card? Hope Harbinger. And normally when you make this card, it's hard for your opponent to get over this. So that's another interesting combo with the deck. There are so many more combos that you can play with this deck. I just wanted to show you two really awesome ones to make a great rank gank and a great XC play. Thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. If you guys would like to buy the best protection on the planet, I mean for deck boxes, um, uh, uh, what are they called? Folders? No, binders. There we go. Binders. Ultimate Guard is the way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.